Hey everybody, I'm Joseph Piper, founder of Granite Trademark Services, and today we're going to talk about some of the benefits of getting a federal trademark registration at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Um, you may not think that you need it, you may think I have some protections in common law, and that's true, but you get so many more benefits if you have a federal trademark registration. Now, firstly, you do have common law rights to your trademark name, but those common law rights are only applicable in your area wherever you're selling your goods or services. So, for example, if you're in New England, like I am, you can see the snow falling behind me, um, and you're a beer maker or brewer, and you're selling a beer and you have a really cool name and it's really kicking off and it's selling in Massachusetts and Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont and you're doing really well and you want to make this thing go national someday. It's important to file a trademark application with the USPTO because if some guy in San Francisco two years after you started your company just randomly just comes up with the same exact name and starts brewing their own beer, well now you're cut off from that market because he has the name for that market. So it's important to get these things on the record so that way you have national protection. And if you want to become a national brand, you're going to need that national protection. Second, another cool benefit to having a federal trademark registration that's actually really neat is that you get to put the little R circle after your name or service or product. Um, actually, I have an example right here. So right here we have Maker's Mark Risky. And you can see right there is the little R circle. Now, you may think that doesn't mean much, but for one, when a customer sees that, they know that you, this person's legit. They, they may not even know that it's because you have a federal trademark registration, but they know like, wow, that's pretty legit. And two, every competitor will now know you have a federal trademark registration, so they should really back off from any kind of name that would be confusingly similar to your name, especially if it's in a related field. Um, so that little R circle just puts people on notice. Hey, you have a federal trademark registration. Stay away from that name. That is my name. You plant your flag, and you own that name. You own that trademark. That is your property right, and it's pretty cool. Um, in addition, and related, the USPTO, if someone else files a trademark that's similar to yours, the USPTO will say, no, you can't have this. We've already had this one on file. So in a way, the USPTO will help protect and protect you from potential infringers trying to file trademarks. So that's pretty cool when the federal government is working on your side. Um, in addition, by getting a federal trademark registration, it creates a presumption that the trademark is A, valid, and B, you're the exclusive owner. Now this doesn't sound necessarily important, but it becomes really important if you are being infringed upon and you bring someone to court. Why it's important is that the judge will see that and they'll see you turn in your federal trademark registration the judge looks at it and goes, all right, I see this, the United States Patent and Trademark Office. I'm going to presume that you do own this trademark and that it is valid and you are the exclusive owner. So that doesn't have to be litigated. Related, litigation is really, really expensive. So you want to keep it as simple as possible. But in addition, a federal trademark registration also gives you superpowers if you do win the case. So if you win the case, you normally just get damages, which is nice. Like, okay, you get some money back that they owe you for infringing your mark. But if you have a federal trademark registration, at the judge's discretion, he can give you three times the amount of damages that you are actually owed. And on top of that, they can make him pay, make the other side pay for your attorney's fees. That's important because litigation is really, really expensive. And attorney's fees can add up quick, 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 quick. So you may be afraid, like, oh, I, I can't pay for attorneys to bring this litigation, blah, blah, blah. But then you speak to an attorney and they say, well, you have this tra federal trademark registration. We have a slam dunk case. When we win, they're going to pay for your attorney's fees. And you're like, bingo, bango, these guys are toast. And that's pretty cool. Now, lastly, something that's pretty, uh, that's good about having a federal trademark registration, say you have a product and you have a problem with people are ripping you off. They are importing these things from other countries and you don't know how to stop the imports and these counterfeits are making people distrust your product, but then you're also not making any money on these counterfeits. So that's not right. So what you can do if you have a federal trademark registration is that you can go to U.S. Customs and U.S. Customs at the border when they see any of these things with your trademark on it and if they weren't shipped in by you or one of your licensed suppliers, they will just seize all the goods for <laughs> seize all the goods for you and then I don't then I guess they're yours. So that's pretty cool. You have the federal government and customs working for you, and then you have the USPTO working for you. It's a win-win. So you may not be sure if this is the right time for you to file a federal trademark. Feel free to contact us, reach out. Um, just remember you get some benefits like national protection, 
you get a special damages in court if you are infringed upon, and you can have customs working on your side, and you get to add the R circle, which consumers like because they know, wow, this person's legit. So, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot us a message, and uh, we'll hit you back. Thanks.